right, guys, we are out here at 7335 Virginia. I did another video on me buying this. Mike was with me. He's holding the camera today. He's What's here up, today. guys? Uh, we bought this one. So I'll drop that video in right up here in the corner. You guys can see me and Mike out here talking to the seller and buying this property. So this is basically like walkthrough number two. It's the second time I've been here. The first time we put it under contract, we've closed on it since then, our rehab crews are out. So a quick recap of this property, we bought it for 42 grand. We're gonna put about 40, 45 in it. We'll be in for about, about 90 or less. And we plan on selling this thing for about 130 grand, maybe even push it to 140. So let's go take a look at it, guys. Not a whole lot's been done since we've been here. However, our guys did expose this brick, which is awesome. This is beautiful. That door is going into our family room. This is gonna take us into our kitchen. Nice big ceilings, which is awesome. This is gonna take us upstairs, but we're gonna walk this way first. And what we have here is our dining room. Now our partner, Bill, that manages a lot of our rehabs, didn't like that the door to our bathroom. There's a full bath upstairs, but there's a half down here opened into our dining room. So we're actually gonna seal this off and open this up so there'll be a door that goes that way. Take a look at our bathroom. That's a half bath, guys. This will be our dining room, and this is a lot of the cellar stuff that's back here. This is basically our family room and we're in the process of cleaning all this stuff out that was here when we bought it. So that'll happen over the next couple of days. Let's go ahead and head upstairs. There's really not much of a basement here. It's got a little pit down there. Uh, when you walk down the steps over this way and uh, our HVAC and plumbing access, there is a crawl space underneath the house as well. Uh, but not much of a basement. There is an upstairs. And this is a three bedroom, one and a half bath house. So it's actually got two baths, one that you've that you've already seen, and then one upstairs. So let's take a look at the three bedrooms in the bath. One straight ahead, two more right here against this wall. And then here is our bathroom. The tile was already done in here, which was nice, as well as the uh, tub surround. But what we'll do is we'll, we'll finish the grout of the tile, because there's no grout in there. We'll do a new toilet, a new vanity, um, and a mirror and a light, and finish the rest of this bathroom. We're gonna have to do flooring throughout this entire house. But we do have really tall ceilings on this second floor, which is great. And we have three full, big bedrooms on this third floor as well. Now, this is a dual zone house, which means that we have two HVAC units. This is our second room. There's an HVAC in the closet. And that one, and that helps control the heating and cooling on each level. Because typically, if you don't have two dual zones, you're gonna be looking at five to seven degree temperature differences. So that's really nice, and it's gonna help us sell this house. And I guess this would probably be our master bedroom. It's the biggest of the bedrooms and it has the view of the street, which is nice. In that last video, you'll notice that the windows were boarded up when we bought this property. So we've exposed those and opened this up. Looks like our guys haven't done a whole lot to it yet, but that's okay. We're gonna be making multiple trips over here and uh, reviewing the work that they're doing. Just to recap, we bought this and closed on it just a couple weeks ago, maybe two weeks ago. Bought it for 42 grand. We're gonna put about 40,000 in it. Hopefully try to keep it close to 40 and not hit 50. And then uh, we'll be into it for, you know, around 90. We plan to list this thing for, what do you think, Mike, 135, 139? How about that? Yeah. Give or take. We so, always get greedy when we list them, you know? That's yeah. right, that's right. But we'll keep you guys posted, thanks.